how concerning is the week one loss for your former team? Um, it, it's, it's very concerning, man. Um, seeing how they played um, this Sunday, um, seeing how the receiving core and Aaron Rodgers um, did not gel together and the defense did not make tackles um, or, or make any turnovers. So uh, the Packers didn't look, look too well uh, first game of the season. Finn, what, what went wrong with them, though? Um, I, I just think uh, I didn't see preparation. Um, I didn't see hunger. I didn't see guys wanting to be out there. Um, and, and once again, um, if you know what brother Lauren is, I, I saw 12 bring in 18 and then throw him the ball one time. You know what I mean? So, um, like I told you guys last time on the show, you, you can't bring in your brother and, and expect to win championships. Yeah, That's like bringing a family member to your business. So, and I think that's what Aaron Rodgers did with Cobb. Yeah, when when you when you look at the as you said, lack of preparation, things of that nature, do you attribute that to only seven padded practices, less than two hours, no preseason? So they look like a team that was out of sync based on that type of preparation. Absolutely. Uh, like you said, no padded practices, not enough padded practices. And like I said, man, you, you got to get that, that game situation and practice going. Uh, because once again, as you've seen um, in week one, the, the, the Packers wasn't ready. And um, I've seen a lot of guys that didn't, didn't play in the preseason. Like I can say back a couple, well, several years ago, everybody played in the preseason. Everybody got hit. And, uh, and and I've seen a lot of guys that wasn't ready to uh, to get on the field and play a full speed game. Finn, you, you said something that really struck a nerve with me. You said that you know guys didn't come out and play with that grit, play with that hunger. And every time I hear Aaron Rodgers talk, it seemed like he kind of passes the buck as it relates to blame. Do you do you sense or do you feel that maybe that same camaraderie that used to be behind Aaron Rodgers maybe is starting to wean just a tad from his teammates or mm -hmm. no? Uh, I, I I do, man. Once again, I played with twelve for uh, uh, several years, and um, he, he's a. Once again, I'm not bashing my guy. He's he's a hell of a uh, quarterback. But once again, he's a quarterback that doesn't never take blame for himself. He's that guy. If I throw the ball to the receiver, he's got to catch it wherever it's at. Uh, he's not a guy. If you go into the uh, into the film room and he, he made a bad pass, he's not that guy. that's going to raise his hand and say, "Oh, that's my bad." He's going to make sure. Make sure that the coaches know that uh, it, that's all on you. I got the ball there. You got to catch the ball. So he's, he's not a leader in that aspect of, of mm. this game. It's your Michael Finley, former Packers tied in Super Bowl champion, joined us this morning on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zach Kellerman. Zach's. Zach's, Zach's Kellerman. No, Max Kellerman. <laughs> no, Max messed up. Max messed up earlier, so we keep giving him a little bit of a ribbing inside. <laughs> but I'm yeah. like Aaron Rodgers. It wasn't me. Yeah, well, he's full. Jeez, stop, man. Stop, stop. ESPN <laughs> FPI uh, fan gives the Packers a 42% chance to make the playoffs after week one. Um, what's your reaction to that? Do you think that this team, despite dropping the first game to the Saints, they're still going to win the division and make it to the playoffs? Oh man, it's gonna it's gonna be tough. Once again, you, you had Jameis Winston coming in come in into Jacksonville and not even I mean and spank you, gave you a good old detail whack. And uh, I don't I don't know what these guys are gonna be up to this season. Um Aaron Rodgers just doesn't look like Aaron Rodgers. So um uh, right now I do not have them guys in the playoffs. Um and these these guys are, are not ready to even play the Cowboys right now. So um, my, my thing is, um, it's a big comeback um, game right here, and uh, hopefully he's got some bounce, bounce back. Jermichael Finley on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, ESPN Radio. Jermichael, I think a lot of people who hear you and Greg Jennings talking about um, Aaron Rodgers feel like, man, they're hating, you know? And, and I imagine <laughs> that you have your own truth about, as the kids say, right, <laughs> about, like, what the relationship is, and you gave him credit for balling, and, but, but you're saying, look, this is just the three-dimensional view of the guy. What would you say to fans who hear you talking about him now and have the suspicion, man, Jermichael Finley just has an ax to grind with this guy, and he's waiting to, like, criticize. How would you, how would you respond to fans who think that listening to you? No, I'm glad. I'm glad you uh, asked that question. But once again, man, I, I got I got my paper, I got my bread, I got my money, 
Um, I'm totally fine over here. My thing is, is that um, the, the guy just is, is just that. <laughs> I'm not a hater. I'm just I'm looking out. Actually, I just want the guys to do their best and play Tiger football. And uh, once again, brother-in-law, it doesn't do it. And I think Love is going to be ready for the job here pretty soon. So mm. um, can't can't wait to see the youngster play. Love is going to be ready for the job, but Rogers, like to be fair to Aaron Rodgers, just came off arguably his best season. They were in the NFC Championship game. He threw 40 touchdowns against like negative 10 interceptions, whatever it was. Do you think he fell off that quickly? Bro, this is the National Football League. Uh, each offseason, you got work like it's the last season. And I just don't see a work ethic in Aaron Rodgers that I have in previous years. And uh, I actually, you can see it right through his his helmet. The eyes and the face tell, tells everything of the personality. And uh, I just don't see it, uh, that, that, that NFL hunger and and just feel hungry to go win another championship. I just think it's cliche and talk um, that that guys get up there and say, oh, I want to win a championship. Oh, it sounds good, but I want to see what you do on the field. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.